One of the leading meme coins on Ethereum, SPX6900, didn't have too great of a time recently. Now let's see if this week long rally is finally turning around and if you're going to see a dump or if long term adoption actually continues. Let's have a look at the on chain metrics most people are not considering. Now, here's the price action in the last few days. We are down from the top of almost $1 to now 63 cents, a loss of 33%. This might sound like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, this could be a start of something potentially much worse. Because that 33% decline is this little blip over here in this longer term chart. We have seen SPX 6900 going down by 95%. Now it's interesting to see that today the number of buyers is way larger than the number of sellers but still the buying volume is not equaling the selling volume thus we are down by 7%. So it seems like a case of the whales and of the early buyers now taking profit. Now the on-chain analytics are a bit more complex because there are three versions of the token. There's one on Ethereum this is where most capital is with 16,000 holders but there's also a version on the base chain with 14,000 holders and of course the casino on Solana is running as well there we've got 18,000 holders now this is not the first video of SPX 6900 on this channel I covered it actually very early so the first video was published two weeks ago at a time when the price was 11 cents and even after that correction we are up almost 6x now here's what's interesting about YouTube when you talk about a token that's not yet popular but might become popular in the future the views are actually not that great so as I said I published several videos on SPX 6900 and the first video with the lowest price it tended to be initially an underperformer nobody was interested the last video though where the price was much higher was an outperformer and so that's unfortunately how the algorithm works right it spreads whatever is popular but whatever is popular tends to be also high in price so if you don't want to miss the next video when i talk about something early feel free to subscribe i publish videos on various meme coins regularly on this channel now let's dive into the current metrics of spx 6900 and let's start with the ethereum chain on the left side we've got the number of wallets that have a thousand SPX 1600 tokens. At the current price, that's roughly $600. We go at 10x for the middle chart, that's $6,000. For the right, the minimum holding is $60,000. So there's 7,500 small retail wallets on Ethereum. There's only 800 such wallets on Base. And there's 4,800 such wallets on Solana. So it looks like we can pretty much ignore the numbers on Base. Price discovery definitely doesn't happen here. Now let's compare the price development in the last month with the holder development in the last month. Because initially, we had our very beautiful rally but then we're turning around since the 13th of October. Now here's the last month on Ethereum with the number of holders. So now we don't look at the all-time charts we only look at the last month. And so the number of small retail holders continues to grow despite the price retracing. Medium-sized retail so all the wallets with at least $6,000 at current prices also continues to grow. If we then go another order of magnitude up though so $60,000 this is where we see the turnaround. Now that turnaround did not happen on the 13th of October. It already happened around the 7th, 8th and 9th of October. This is where accumulation somewhat stalled. And then the selling started happening on the 10th, 11th and 12th. And so have a look at this again, right? Since the 10th of October, the price action is getting a bit more choppy. And so if the whales continue to sell, we probably continue to see heightened volatility. Now there's one central metric that's especially important for meme coins and that's new investors. Are there actually new people coming into the token and is this potentially also accelerating because the more new people jump onto a project the higher the price can sustainably go. Now here's that data. Again we're looking at Ethereum and we see the number of new users per day. And this peaked on the 12th of October, since then is coming down. And we have to ignore the last data point here on the 17th of October because the day hasn't yet finished. So again, that's the data on EVE. And here's the same data on Solana. Pretty much the same picture. The peak is happening somewhere around the 9th, maybe 12th of October. So on the left side is the user count. On the right side is the transaction count. The transaction count peaked on the 12th of October. Now we can also compare the first time traders to the recurring traders and a clear flip has happened after the number of first time traders peaked. 
So now we see the existing traders battling against one another, not so many new traders coming in. And I believe that the whales know about things like this. That's why they're exiting. Crypto is a game of both luck and skill. And the people that have better data, the people that are better informed, they tend to make the money, right? They tend to beat the market. And so I like to look at what the people are doing that have most money, that tended to make the best calls in the past. And they're clearly not accumulating as quickly as they used to. So yes, the number of buyers tends to grow now relative to the number of sellers. This, by the way, is again on Solana. And yes, in the last weeks, the price, of course, could rise with that heightened trading volume. But still, just the number of buyers exceeding the number of sellers does not necessarily help when the whales on average have more than 100 times more holding than the retail investor. Right, we've seen this at the beginning of this video. The number of buyers exceeds the number of sellers, but the buying volume does not exceed the selling volume. So the sellers simply have more money. And so on the left, we've got the token balance by holder size. Small and medium retail is getting more of the overall token supply. Or in other words, the whales are selling, the small guys are buying. And that selling pressure is pretty significant. So the whale holdings went from 60 million worth of value all the way down to 42 million while the value for small retail barely changed because they continue to buy. And so there's the hope of some people that there will be more centralized exchange listings. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen if the whales continue to sell. The token is listed on MEXC, but the trading volume isn't actually that large. Price discovery really happens directly on chain, on Radium for Solana and on Uniswap for Ethereum. That's where all the trading volume is. And so this YouTube channel has a premium community as well. And we talk about all kinds of altcoins. And of course, that also includes SPX6900. A shout out to Georg and Tokyo Tracks, who are very active in on chain analytics in the channels. Here's a post of some on chain data on October 13th, where Georg shared that SPX is likely going to peak. And so our members have taken profit. Again, the 13th of October was over here, it was the perfect timing. And so feel free to learn on chain analytics yourself. There's all kinds of different tutorials in premium. There's a whole course just dedicated to finding other wallets. But there are also videos on macro indicators, on portfolio management, etc. Hundreds of videos now to improve your crypto game. Of course, we use those on-chain analytics not only to time the market. We also use it to monitor other successful traders. And so have a look at all of those SPX trades made by Kyle Chessy in the early days. We've got 12 of its wallets monitored, always giving us an alert whenever he buys and sells. And of course, all the graphs, all the statistics that you've seen in this video are part of a tool set of premium as well. So there's a tool for the Ethereum based blockchains. There's another tool for Solana. And of course, also a tutorial video on how to use all of this. There's even videos on how to build tools like this yourself. Now to sum it all up, I don't have a crystal ball either where SPX is going. The only thing I can say is that the whales are actively dumping. They are selling their tokens and that does depress the price. Our members are taking profit and are looking for the next opportunity. I believe that's the right thing to do. If you got something out of this video, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. A like would be very much appreciate as well. It helps the channel grow. And of course, looking forward to seeing you on premium as well. Cheers.